Hi guys, so today I'm filming um, a favourites video and this is my January favourites. Like I don't do these videos and favourites videos very often. Um, I don't know, just because I feel like my favourites don't really change that much. I don't accumulate a lot of favourites um, like really quickly. I think a lot of YouTubers, especially the bigger ones, obviously get sent lots of products. So they have lots of products all the time so they're able to kind of pick their favourites. Whereas if you're little old me, <laughs> obviously you're not getting new products all the time. You don't really accumulate favourites every single month. So that's just why I don't do them very much. Um, but do let me know if you you'd like to see me doing more of them um but yeah i'm gonna start off with my beauty favorites i think first beauty favorite will not be a surprise um if you've been watching my channel recently this is the benefit roller lash mascara um i got this for christmas and I, i'm absolutely obsessed with this <laughs> i'm absolutely obsessed with this mascara it just makes my lashes really really long and like separated because i already have quite like um curly eyelashes so for me, I like how lengthening this is. I just think this is an amazing mascara. I love the Ariel, but I honestly think I like this um, even more. The next product is another mascara, and I mentioned them this one after because I kind of use it with the benefit in combination, and it's the Maybelline Colossal um, Go Extreme Volume Mascara. I can't even remember what video it was in. I think it was either, I think it was my, actually my last favourite, whenever that was. I actually said I didn't like this very much because I felt like it didn't do much for my lashes, but I feel like mascara is one of those things it just depends on what, especially if you use multiple mascaras like I do. The combination of mascaras basically because with the roller lash, I absolutely love this. Since I've been using the roller lash, um, I've been loving it. I don't usually like big ones, that's the thing. Um, I feel like if you're a volume girl, like a lot of girls who have longer lashes, um, will like this mascara because it's definitely more volu voluminous, voluminizing. Because I don't have very long lashes, I prefer length over volume. And once I've got length from the Benefit Roller Lash, putting this on top just really adds to the lashes. It adds a little extra something. Um, so, although I don't like it by itself or with any other mascara, I do really, really, really love this with the Roller Lash. Next thing is another thing I've been talking about recently as well. It's the Pro Conceal, um, LA Girl Pro Conceal um, HD Concealer. Love this concealer. I've been wanting to get my hands on this for so, so long. Just because everyone's been raving about how it's an amazing concealer and it's super, super cheap. I was really excited to do kind of proper highlighting on my face, like under my eyes. I'm not disappointed, seriously. I bloody love this concealer. It's so, like, creamy and really nicely, like, it just really kind of melts into your skin. It's just so, so gorgeous. I don't even know what to say about it, but I just, oh. I love it so much. The next thing is um, this blush from Revolution. It's in the shade, what shade is this? Oh wow, that's an interesting name. I actually got this in my Makeup Revolution little advent calendar. Yeah, advent calendar I got for, well it was in little, it was quite big actually. It looks pretty bright, a bright kind of pink. I don't really know how else to describe it. On my skin tone, I'm wearing it today. I have been wearing it for ages. I think it's pretty much worn off. Um, on my skin tone, it just gives the nicest like fresh kind of that's the only description I can give I think their blushes cost like one or two pounds and then I got it in the um advent calendar which I got for 20 pounds and it had 25 full like product full size products in it so I got this for less than one pound basically and I just absolutely love it another makeup revolution product is their lipstick this is this lipstick in particular um I don't think they have shades no, they don't have shades but this is the shade on here it's like a really bold like kind of barbie purple pink I'll do a swatch of it on my hand there um, it looks a little more like neon purple on the camera because I've got my studio lights on and they're really bright um, But it does have this kind of look like it's a really cool toned pink and I love those kind of shades on my skin I think those shades really suit me and I just it just really makes my lips pop and it's like I love pop of colors for my lipstick And I know some people are kind of fearful of using bright um, Lip colors, but I've never been one of those people. I've always loved my bold colors I really 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 love that lipstick the next thing again won't be a surprise and it's this natural collection um, sun tint bronzing powder in the shade golden glow um, it's broken but I literally just filmed a video with it and um, it fell on the floor and cracked which I'm really sad about I love this it's a bronzing powder but I use it as a highlight and this has made me like highlighting like I used to not really like contouring and highlighting and I think it was because I didn't really have the right products like especially highlighter because it's supposed to be a bronzer it's a lot less kind of glittery and it's just a really just gives me like a really nice like sheen on my cheeks it's so so gorgeous I don't even miss highlighting like as a step anymore I don't skip it out because this has just made me adore highlighting next I'm going to move on to fashion pieces and um, the first thing pretty random is this play suit pyjama thing 
Um, I'm pretty sure I showed this in a haul. I've been wearing it pretty much the whole of January. I absolutely love it. It's got a lace kind of trim at the bottom there and also at the top like in a V shape and it's got like spaghetti straps. How have I not heard of the invention of play suit pyjamas? Because I'm one of those people who loves play suits anyway. I'd never really even heard of play suit pyjamas. Apparently they're called teddies. I think it's the best invention ever because I'm always really cold just general in life but for some reason sleeping I just hate like restrict like I'll wear pyjamas to bed and then I'll just end up taking them off like TMI but I'll just end up taking them off and it's like okay so why do I have pyjamas then but since I found this like I can wear this to sleep and be fine with it I don't need to like take it off because it's obviously warm enough like you know it covers you up but it's like shorts and then there's no sleeves so I feel like freer than this is like a nice balance between being covered up and being warm and also like being free I absolutely love this and it's like so like hot looking as well it's really nice like i was saying in that haul i remember saying i was like yeah if you wanted to step up like your pajama game this is the way to do it because it's so like fancy af guys the next thing i'm showing you um are these pair of trousers and um this was in my top shop haul because i got it from top shop they are these navy and white like pinstripe trousers they're kind of like smart trousers i found out they're called paper bag trousers i don't know so many different styles of bloody smart trousers. I just love these. Um, they're super high waisted. They tie around um, with a little like belt thing. And they're so versatile. Like I wear these with trainers, heels, flat shoes, like you know, like loafers, boots, like they just they just work with everything. I absolutely love these. Like these are quite an investment. Um I, actually I got these with the discount. I was gonna say they were quite an investment because they were forty pounds, but I got 40% off, so whatever 40% off 40 pounds is. Wait, I can do this. 4, 8, 12, 16, 16. 24 pounds. Okay, they're not even that bad for 24 pounds. But even for 40 pounds, like, they're a really good investment just because of how good they are. I've gotten so much wear of them already, and I'm going to get so much more wear of them. They're just a piece that I, I don't think I'll get, like, kind of sick of or tired of, and I, don't, I won't know how to start or, like, it just kind of goes with everything. My next favourite, um, is this Colt, and, um, I showed this in my What I Got For Christmas, um, video. It was basically a Christmas present, I'm using money, because I got money, and then I bought this using that money. I ordered this online, and, um, it was a boyfriend-style coat, which I'd been looking for for ages. Now, I'm quite petite, I'm 5'3", and um, on the model, it came up kind of like an oversized blazer look, kind of upper mid thigh area. So then when I went to pick it up in store and I tried it on, I was like, hmm, this isn't exactly what I wanted. It's a lot longer than I thought. It was down to about my knee. And I was like, oh, I'm not really sure. Like, I feel like it's a bit long and it kind of swamps me up. My mum and like Luke as well was saying, no, I think it's fine. Like Luke was saying that I have kind of mid thigh kind of coat already. Like I already have a coat that length. And um, he's, he's the coat connoisseur so um he advised me to keep it he said he think it looked really nice and um i did keep it and it does look really nice i really really love this coat i haven't even worn my other coat since i got this i've just been wearing this coat non-stop i absolutely love it the color like burgundy is like one of my favorite like colors to wear and it's so soft like it's kind of feels like felt it's like oh it's just beautiful i love this coat so much i'm so so happy that i didn't let myself kind of return or anything sometimes going out of your comfort zone does work because um this was slightly out of my comfort zone if you're a short girl you probably know the struggle as well of wearing like not wanting to wear long things because you feel like they make you look even shorter and like more frumpy than you already feel i was a bit iffy about it but i'm so so happy that i did keep it my last favorite <laughs> basic these are my stan smiths um again i got these for christmas oh my god what can i even say about these i feel like i'm just i don't even know what to say like i just love these i've worn these so so much like literally it's kind of like my go-to shoe now anytime i'm just like slipping out i'm just like put my stan smiths on i love these shoes they're so easy and versatile again i think that's the kind of gist of things. I love pieces that are easy and versatile to style. I love wearing this with the um, smart top shop trousers that I show just showed as well. Like, I just love, I feel like you can wear them really casually or you could actually make them look snazzy and like fancy looking. So I do really, really love these. So those are all my favourites for the month of January. I feel like January is always a really good month for favourites because Christmas has just happened. So you've gotten like some nice stuff and you're like, I'm in love with everything. I'm in love with everything. I really really enjoyed this favourites, like all these favourites are like legit favourites, like they're like favourite favourites 
if you get my drift uh, I'm gonna stop now because I don't even know what I'm saying anymore don't forget to like the video um, if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already to get notified when I put up a video I'll see you in my next video guys toodles I'm using Max Well lipstick which I absolutely freaking love I think this ties in the look so so well because it's such a cute like romantic shade